I'm going to show you how to secure your Kubota BX to a trailer. When I pulled the tractor on the trailer, I had the BX in four wheel drive. I like to leave it in four wheel drive while it's on the trailer because tractors only have brakes on the rear. So with it in four wheel drive, you essentially have four wheel brakes now. When I start to chain down anything to the trailer, I always like to start on the uphill side so that way, if for some freaky reason, the tractor or car or whatever would start to roll, it wouldn't run over me. I'm going to be using a 5 16th grade 70 chain and then a ratcheting binder. I like a ratcheting binder better than a lever type binder because a lever type binder, it's hard to get them just right. They're either too tight or too loose. So starting at the back, I'm just going to wrap the chain around the draw bar. This trailer has stake pockets. So I'll wrap the other end of the chain through the stake pocket. I like to start out with the binders almost fully extended. This one's not, so I'll just hook it on the stake pocket to wind it out. That way both ends get wound out evenly. I'll hook the binder up to the chain now. tension on it I'll come back later and tighten it down fully do the same thing on the other side now both chains on the rear with a little tension on them I'm going to move to the front I've seen some people pulling their tractors around with chains around the three-point hitch I don't think that's a good idea because if your three-point hitch would go down then your chains are going to be loose also you notice how the chains are coming off the tractor diagonally that'll help prevent the tractor from sliding sideways if you pulled the chain straight back the tractor could slide sideways now I'm going to move up to the front and between the grill guard and the hood, there's an opening. Hook the chain around. And then again, I'll come up to a stake pocket. up my ratchet binder again. tension on that one I'll go to the left front and tie it down now on the left front I'm going to show you something a little different I have these homemade tie down points there's actually there was a company that was selling these they called them tie down lugs if you do a search on the internet you may find them I think they went out of business but anyway I've also seen some guys go to like Lowe's or Home Depot and get bolt on D rings and they say they'll fit on there and they can use them but the only thing with the D-ring is I think it might bounce around and be a little annoying while you're using the tractor. So on this side I'm going to use a ratchet strap. Yeah. 
you look, most ratchet straps have like a red stitching on them. So that way you can tell. It's usually just on one side, but I've seen some cheaper straps that have it on both sides. But that way you can tell if your strap has a twist in it or not. Now, you really don't want to hook your ratchet strap in a stake pocket like this. It's not too, too bad on this trailer, but your strap can rub this rough edge and cut your strap. So what I do is I use stake pocket tie downs. See how they work. Once you're done with your ratchet strap, you always want to close them to lock them. You can see that this one says close fully to engage. That keeps it locked down. One thing I like to do since these straps aren't too long though. Since these straps aren't too long though, to keep the excess strap from flopping around in the wind, I usually just pull them back through a couple times like that. lock it down now if you have them straps that are like 27 feet long you can't do that but another little tip is if you use a stake pocket tie down be sure the pin is against the bottom of the stake pocket if it's not and it works up your strap will be loose I like to carry the ratchet straps on a tool bag to keep them all contained that way when I need to haul something I can just grab the bag up and go now I'm back at the right front I'm going to tighten it down fully I like to leave the ratcheting binders in the tensioning direction, I flip them the other way so that they're in the loosening direction and you hit bumps, your chains can actually come loose. I use chains at the back instead of straps because these rough metal edges will cut your average ratchet strap. That pretty much covers how to secure your BX to a trailer. Also before you hit the road, don't forget to remove your slow moving vehicle sign because you're no longer a slow moving vehicle and it may blow off. Then after you drive just a short distance, maybe a mile or two, pull over to a safe area and check your chains and be sure they're still tight. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this.